Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel Biochemistry Concepts. This video is about the mechanism, kinetics and examples of non-competitive enzyme inhibition. Name itself indicates that there is no competition in this type of enzyme inhibition. And when you compare the competitive inhibition and non-competitive inhibition, in non-competitive inhibition, the structure of substrate and inhibitor are different. So there is no similarity between substrate and inhibitor structure. Mechanism of non-competitive inhibition, it is very simple. Here, the substrate binds at active site of the enzyme, whereas the inhibitor binds at a different site on the enzyme. So both inhibitor and substrate, they can bind with the enzyme at different sites. The important point is the non-competitive inhibitor which binds to enzyme at a different site other than the active site, it will not interfere with the binding of substrate to the enzyme. And this non-competitive inhibition cannot be overcome by the increase in the substrate concentration. It means even though if you increase the concentration of the substrate, the inhibition cannot be reversed. This non-competitive inhibitor can bind to the free enzyme or it may bind with the enzyme substrate complex. In the first situation, substrate binds with the enzyme to form enzyme substrate complex. To this complex, the inhibitor may bind to form enzyme inhibitor substrate complex. And other situation is inhibitor can bind with the enzyme that is free enzyme to form enzyme inhibitor complex. To this substrate may bind to form enzyme inhibitor substrate complex. So that enzyme substrate complex can give rise to product whereas enzyme inhibitor substrate complex forms products at a very slow rate. So when this non-competitive inhibitor binds with the enzyme, it probably brings changes in the three-dimensional structure of the enzyme that affects the catalytic efficiency of the enzyme. How the kinetics are affected in the presence of a non-competitive inhibitor? That means how Km value and velocity maximum are affected in the presence of this inhibitor. So there is no change in Km value because inhibitor is not affecting the binding of substrate to the enzyme. So it has no effect on the substrate binding that's why there is no change in the Km value. Whereas a non-competitive inhibitor decreases the concentration of functional enzymes. So because of that the turnover that is the amount of substrate converted to product is affected so that ultimately leads to decreased velocity maximum. So when the concentration of functionally active enzymes decreases the efficiency to transform substrate to product is affected. So generally this transformation of substrate to product is reflected by velocity maximum. So whenever this efficiency is affected, the velocity maximum is affected. That means here velocity maximum is decreased in the presence of a non-competitive inhibitor. Coming to examples of non-competitive inhibition, fluoride inhibits one of the enzymes of glycolysis that is inulase by non-competitive inhibition. Coming to its applications, it is used in the diagnosis that is when the blood samples are collected in sodium fluoride vials. This sodium fluoride can preserve the blood glucose by inhibiting the glycolysis. So sodium fluoride can preserve the blood glucose for at least 3 days. 